Hey guys, we're back again for another PS2 games video and all the ones in this video I've acquired since the last video so I didn't already own these and I also tried to do uh, like a green screen I could just like buy an actual green screen with the material and everything and uh, I've got lighting to do it properly but, um, I just wanted to put some like lime green uh, material down here and then use it as a green screen I thought that might be quite cool. I did try it, but it didn't really work. I think it was because of the lighting. So I could have just been holding up games, and rather than this as a background, I could have had, you know, um, video or pictures kind of thing, if that makes sense. Uh, so yeah, maybe that for another video. If I do, I don't know if I'll end up doing another uh, game collection video, because it seems to be the PS2 is the one I've got the most of. I don't have a huge amount of... Um, physical game uh, collections for any other consoles particularly this is definitely the biggest at the moment um, but maybe I'll get more in the future and be able to actually do a, a, a game video of games I've got for other consoles anyway let's get into it uh, some of these might be repeated partly because I can't remember if I did them before and and partly because I think I did a few, like one or two of them in that video I did of the box, the £50 box of stuff I got. So uh, I'll just touch on them quickly. But the majority of the games are um, like new that you wouldn't have seen before. Not well, you, not that you wouldn't have seen it before, but on the channel, on this channel, you wouldn't have seen it before. Um, what else was I going to say? Uh, I can't remember. So Simpsons Road Rage. I can't remember if this is one I think that I might have done on the last video, possibly. Um, I have given this a go briefly, and it seemed alright. Oh, it seemed like a bit like Crazy Taxi, with like maybe some other modes. And I didn't get to check out a huge amount of it, because uh, you had to unlock stuff. You had to like do a lot to unlock it. And it seemed quite hard, actually, I seem to remember, to get the challenges done. Was it? I think it was. it was hard, because it didn't give you much time in the challenge. I don't know if it was on easy mode or not, I can't remember. Or if it had a difficulty, I can't remember, but it seemed really hard. But you had to definitely try it a few times. Yeah, this one I did in that video, I'm sure. Uh, but I did a video of this recently on the channel, just playing it, and it was really fun. I uh, just had some police chases and stuff, and revisited um, Liberty City in this game. Uh, so, I'll probably do the third one at some point, probably for, again, just its own video. I think I did try it before, but uh, the disc wouldn't work. It wouldn't load the game. So, another Grand Theft Auto, which was, again, in that, briefly in that £50 box of stuff video. Uh, there's nothing with this. I thought I had, uh, it usually has a booklet and a poster, doesn't it? So it's just, just the... Uh, disc and the box and the case sort of thing I've got to remember not to do that again <laughs> I just I checked it in the last video for that one game that was really scratched and then I ended up doing it for every game um, so yeah uh, great game yeah I did try to do a video on this and it didn't fail as such I just thought I couldn't get a police chase going properly and um, I just didn't think it was quite good enough but I'm definitely going to return to this do uh, some police chases and stuff, the usual. So I will do a video on that. Right, I think this is the last one. No, it's not. Should we get them out of the way, actually? I've got, I think, two more, which I think I've already shown in the last video. I don't think this video will be as long as the... Um, and as long as the last one, I don't think, so I haven't got as many games to show off. But it depends how long I talk for, I guess. Yeah, this one was briefly in that video as well. Getaway Black Monday. Um, I did play this briefly recently for the first time. And I got stuck on the first bit. You were going around some count, count, council estate. And you were trying to find someone, I think. And I just I got totally lost. Or well, they disappeared and I couldn't quite find them. I went to take the disc out again. <laughs> um... Because I was trying to just drive around London, you know, like 
free roam basically i wanted to just put the game in and free roam but it took you into the story and you kind of had to get that out of the way first but i couldn't even get that out of the way but i'll probably revisit that at some point um and this i think is the last one that we've not seen before uh yeah quack attack and i forgot to say in the last video did i say i remember playing this on ps2 i guess but actually i remember playing it on ps1 yeah, my a friend had it like when I was young and played it on PS1. And it was uh, quite a nice game for yeah. Hmm. It's quite a nice game for just uh, a few hours or you know one playthrough. And plus we were a lot younger. <laughs> but then again, Donald Duck is uh, quite funny. Um and it makes me think of Kingdom Hearts as well. Sort of thing. A little bit. Which I'll come on to. And I forgot to bring down. I forget. I've uh, I've got Kingdom Hearts 2 upstairs, which I meant to bring down to show in the video, but I've forgotten because that is one of my all-time favourite games. Oh yeah, I forgot as well. I meant to Ooh. just as we go along. Um, just place. <laughs> I know it sounds a bit sad. Just yeah, as we go through the games, I'll just kind of line the screen with the. Well, with them. So, yeah, where it to now? So, next game Maximo Army of Sin, of Zin, sorry. Yeah, I do remember having this and playing it. I This is the second one, I believe. And there is a first one on the PlayStation, unless this is the first one, in which case there's a second one on PlayStation. Uh, I think it just had two games. I think the plot was quite straightforward I won't read it out but um yeah I think your girlfriend gets captured and you look you're trying to find her I think that's the basis of it um it looks a lot different there I know maybe not um and yeah you're a knight or something that sort of thing I think but it's sort of an adventure game is really quite good I can't think what to compare it to. It reminds me of something of the time. Like the design of some of the enemies and stuff. I can't think of what it might be though that I'm thinking of. Oh, maybe possibly a bit of Rayman in there. That's quite cool. Yeah, maybe a little bit of Rayman kind of artwork going on. I thought oh, that's quite cool. Uh, all of these I'll probably give a go because the way I do my videos now is I'll um I'll play whatever game it is I'll I'll play for maybe an hour or two and put a video up of the first well yeah just having played it for an hour or two whether it's from the start of the game or if I already had a save so from wherever I was or whatever I want to do in the game kind of thing um so I'll probably go that way about it um so I can play more games because I was originally wanting to do full playthroughs of games which I did, I did um, Agent Under Fire to begin with and then GoldenEye 64 and then GoldenEye Reloaded Mario Kart 64 Max Payne and Tony Hawk's 4 so far uh, that I've done as full playthroughs but I realised that to do it for games to that uh, level that the way they're set out is they have levels so I usually do full games based partly on that um, and because there were so many of those games I thought uh, it will take ages to do them all as games so I thought initially I would play, I'd probably just play an hour or two of the games and then I can sort of decide on that whether or not I want to do them as full games so I will be playing a lot of these games is basically what I meant to say I didn't mean to go off on one like that so uh, next one is The Mummy Returns which is the uh, second mummy movie isn't it and made a game of it never played it I think it's apparently okay um, was it apart from maybe the combat or something or not so much the combat or the lack of different weapons or so something like that but it'd be cool to give a go yeah Brendan Fraser making a comeback now which is class so he was a well yeah um, what am I trying to say I just loved him back in the day because obviously 
he was around when I was a kid, sort of thing. So um, a lot of the films he was in, I'd be watching, like Tarzan and, and stuff. No, not Tarzan. Um, George of the Jungle, sorry. And The Mummy and and stuff. So that's cool. Yeah, put that one there. Right, where we go next? Time Crisis 2. Uh, I, th I'm, I think I remember having this, or my brother having it, on, not this game, but like one of the Time Crisis's on um, Sega Saturn, originally. And we actually had like guns for it, I think. Yep, or maybe we didn't, but I think we did. Um, yeah, but it's a light gun game, so if you saw my one of my recent videos, The Vampire Knight, it's basically like that. It's on rails, but it's an on rails shooter. Oh, <laughs> wow, look at that. That's pretty crazy. That's strange, I was talking about Vampire Knight. And there it is, on the thing. So yeah, it's a... It's an on-rails shooter, that one. On-rail shooter. Ooh, hitting the tripod. I can see a little bit of a gap at the top. <laughs> Trying to get it. Sorry, I'm being a bit OCD about it. I can just see in the frame. I should probably cut this out, shouldn't I? There we go. Right. Next one I'm quite excited about. I actually found uh, The Weakest Link on uh, online. Because uh, I got the first one and I, I didn't think there was one on PS2. I thought like the Millionaire games... No, not like the Millionaire games, that there wouldn't be more of them. I thought maybe it might just be on the PS1 that they had a game. But there is one on PS2, which looks... I think more or less the same. Uh, saying that, I haven't really had a look. Yeah, it. Yeah, it looks like it's just uh, graphically updated from the first one, but I'm definitely playing this. <laughs> I found it quite fun, the one on PS1. So I think it's more or less the same game, just graphically it'll be uh, upgraded kind of thing, I believe. Oh, this one I'm actually strangely kind of excited about is uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, yeah, The Legend of Jack Sparrow. So Pirates of the Caribbean, I remember seeing the first one when it came out in, what was it, 2001, 2002, and thought, like, yeah, I thought it was like, oh, really good. Like, it was a really good film. But then after that, I kind of, I didn't watch any, like, really, like, unless I caught, like, Calls it on the TV and watched a bit of it, uh, sort of thing. I didn't watch many of them. I kind of basically saw the first one. Where am I going with this? <laughs> um, but basically, I got really into it, like in probably like the last year or two. I don't mean like I'm acting like I'm a pirate or anything. I just like really got into the films, like into the story and stuff. However good or bad people think, like it is overall or whatever. And it's a shame he's not coming back. Because they are doing a sixth, aren't they, apparently? But he's not actually returning for it. But hopefully it's like he will end up t returning or something. But yeah, basically, um, I did read the stuff on the back. And I won't read it now, but um, I, I'm not sure if this is actually um, part of the film or not. I don't know if it's... Is it standalone? It's, it's, stan it's its own standalone thing, kind of thing. But then again, it's got... Um, Will Turner and uh, I can't remember her name now. Will Turner, I can't remember. <laughs> oh damn it! It will come to mind, um, but I don't know if it's based because it must be be based at least by the first film if it's got them on it and it's not just about Jack. But who knows? Like I'll play a bit of it anyway, like and see see what it's like. But basically, yeah, I'm quite into the Pirates of the Caribbean films. Now, anyway, like before, it was more Lord of the Rings and that kind of thing. Not that it's changed from Lord of the Rings, but yeah. Oh yeah, so I got this literally in the last few days. Smugglers Run. Um, 
and I played GTA 5 recently and I remember I, had, I was driving a car whoop, similar to that one and it, yeah, it made me think of Smuggler's Run. Um, I remember playing the demo of this, I think. Uh, so I cannot remember really what it's like. I think there was a lot of open ground and you, you are just trying to get away from the police. It, it is in a sense just like you are constantly on a police chase, I think, in these games. But um, I'm not 100% sure. Uh, I got this one recently as well. Never played it, but I thought it'd be interesting. Um, yeah, Matt Hoffman Pro BMX 2. Because it's made by Activision, so it, it will play pretty much like Tony Hawk's does, but on a BMX. If that makes sense. And I know that they do give you a BMX in Tony Hawk's 4. And um, late, later Tony Hawk's games as well, obviously. But... Um, you do in Tony Hawk's 4 around the same time this would have come out. So I would have got a good idea of what the bikes like were like. And on Tony Hawk's 4, it's got a level that's in this game, uh, Chicago. Sorry, I'm breathing so heavily. I don't know why I'm so out of breath. Um, hope that's not coming across on the recording, like, if I'm too close to the mic. Oh, yeah. They, they did have a few of the um, pro series if that makes sense um they had the tony hawks and matt hoffman and yeah that one sean was it sean kelly no kelly slater so, um yeah so they had that one so that'll be interesting to um try out basically God, I feel like I do actually have to catch my breath. I don't know why. I didn't have to do this in the last one, and I don't think it will be as long as the last video. I have to keep an eye on the camera as well, because um, if it's over half an hour, which it probably will be, um, the camera only records up to half an hour, basically, on video. So I need to make sure I don't like natter away and realise that it's stopped recording. So actually, the next game is... Uh, yeah, Sean Murray... Well, it's what's it called? Unleashed featuring Sean Murray wakeboarding. But I'm a bit confused because this is basically... Well, I, as far as I know, I'm, this is basically um, Sean Kelly pro wakeboarding because there is a different um, cover, which I assumed when I bought the game would be the cover, but it's actually this cover. This might be the um, European cover maybe for it. I don't know. But it basically looked exactly the same. It had the same thing as this and Tony Hawk's. It had the whole ring there and the, what was it, Kelly Slater one as well. They, they've all got the the rings. Sort of thing. Like, same design. It had that for Sean, Ke uh, Sean Murray, sorry. Hold on, they're two Sean's, aren't they? No, why do I keep thinking that? It's Kelly Slater. <laughs> There's only that one that's the Sean that's pro. So yeah, it was a bit confusing, so I don't know why that was, but yeah, anyway, I'll try and not go off on too many tangents. Whew, I'm trying to catch my breath again. So the next one I think I have played briefly, and which I um, primarily got because I imagine it's pretty good for police chases and stuff. I don't know what the actual story and I, is, uh, the story is like. I never actually played the story, I think I did just free roam and get police chases on it. And that's Scarface. I thought I might be wrong and it might be the Godfather game that I had played, but it was this one. And I think, you know, looking at the back of it, it basically looks like, well, like someone made uh, Vice City again, in a sense. Even though I know Vice City is um, modelled on this film, like, quite a lot and the 80s in general. So, yeah, I thought that might be good. I think this cost me 15 quid. I don't usually spend sort of if I can I don't spend over a few quid on each of these games to be honest um I'm running out of space these might have to go up a bit Ooh. yeah I try not to spend too much because you can easily you can sort of get out of hand you know and all of a sudden you're spending um I don't know even up to hundreds of pounds on 
PS2 games, so I, I try and keep it down. And uh, obviously it all adds up as well, even if you are spending just a few quid, it does. It ends up being quite a lot. But um, I feel at this point, getting these games, I, I feel a bit less like it will be a novelty and I'll actually try and hold on to these, at least for a while. Not just um, do the videos and then kind of get rid of them, because... Well, I don't know. These, uh, I suppose, the more time goes on as well, um, the more nostalgic these become. Really, the older and older they become, sort of thing. I don't want to hoard loads and loads of games and that kind of thing. But uh, and living in the UK, we don't have a huge amount of space, like on a house level, if that makes sense. Like generally, the houses are quite small. Um, so overall, you get less space to put things, basically. So the next one, this was a classic. I remember getting this, or playing it at least at Christmas, at Christmas time, one year. I think it's because I got it from my brother, and I got it on GameCube for him, I think. Or, no, maybe PlayStation. But that was really good. And actually, um, today and yesterday, I'd just been playing the new Hogwarts game, which I really, really like. I thought, like, I didn't necessarily think I would dislike it, but I was thinking, like, I, I don't know what I'll think of it. But I'm really, really enjoying it. Like, it's just, I can't praise it enough. And watching it on the projector is amazing. Like, you just, watching on a bigger screen, you get the sense of distance, like, better. You actually feel like you're looking at, like, whatever it is in the distance. And because it's uh, enhanced for the Xbox Series X, it just looks great. And the projectors 4k as well so it just it looks like amazing really so good um and it it took me back to playing these i think like the kind of music they put in the games like kind of when you're idling and just in general like it kind of took me back to these games a little bit i mean in a sense it's the same it's not, well it's not the same but it's not along the same kind of uh Wavelength, in a sense. Don't know what that is. Uh, this is just the booklets you used to get. So, so what uh, what was coming out that year? Obviously, you'd buy an EA game and then there'd be a this in, in, inside it. And, yeah, you'd just know what was uh, recently come out. It's usually a lot of sports games with EA. Well, at the time. Oh, I think I remember having that. That looks very much like, that reminds me, probably just because of the car, but Sega Rally on Sega Saturn. Ooh. Oh yeah, got both of them and they'll be coming up as uh, gaming videos. I meant to announce as well, not, not announce, but uh, in terms of, in terms of uh, Bond games, I'll basically be doing full playthroughs, like no question. Apart from maybe 007 Racing, I'm not too sure. And I know I can't say it's every Bond game because there's technically ones on like older systems than N64, I think, or at least one. But I don't think I'll be doing them. Uh, that was good. I remember I had that and I, I thought I might get that and do a video on it, actually. And that's this one here. And I never played that one. Looked interesting. Men love on it. I did uh, try to do a video on that, it kind of, well it failed in the sense that I was trying to do a full playthrough and then I got lost, so, but I will go back and do at least one video on it as a playthrough, probably up to the point where I got lost, <laughs> so yeah, sorry I'm dawdling a bit, that's Harry Potter, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to cut, and uh, I don't know why I told you that, I'm going to just cut and not tell you. Just cut the camera just so we know we've got enough time, really. And we're back. You wouldn't have even noticed anything. Oh, I should have used that to catch my breath, but I didn't. <laughs> the cut in between. Um, so, I forget, I, I did get an eye toy. So I think a few are coming up <clears throat> that are eye toy games. Uh, this one randomly I got, because I, I used to love Thomas uh, when I was like really little. And obviously this is aimed at very young like kids, 
and everything. And I haven't played it yet. <laughs> um, <clears throat> the eye toy, I think you have to use it up against the blank wall, basically, for it to really work and in good light. Um, and I mean, I would, I probably wouldn't do a video on this. I might do a video on some uh, eye toy game, maybe. Well, like I can't remember if I've shown this as well, but I don't think I have. Is uh, Lemmings, and I was, I was quite blown away when I realised this was. Uh, on PS2. I remember playing this on like uh, the Acorn, which was a computer, like just very old computer, um, an Acorn, and playing it on that and really loved it. Um, I haven't tried this yet and it works with the eye toy, which I did try re uh, briefly, but that's when I realised that you need to be, you have to have a blank background, otherwise it um, it picks up things as being things it can walk on and and, and physical objects, if that makes sense. So you need it to be blank, so it's only recognising you. But even then, like you need it under really good conditions, I think, for it to properly work. But I'm definitely like going to do a video on this because you can just play it as as normal. Perhaps I would do a video as the eye toy if I could get it right. But we'll see. Oh no, I have to push him up again. <laughs> We're getting near the tripod legs here. I'm sort of making my thumbnail as I go along, sort of. I don't know if this will be the thumbnail, but we'll we'll keep going with, uh, with it for now. Right. Oh yeah. Um. Another. Um, eye toy game. Which actually is uh, I I bought it. I think I bought it for about a tenner. I can't say I paid more than a tenner, and um, it came sealed. <laughs> Like actually sealed, it, I'm pretty sure it doesn't look like it's been resealed. I think it was actually sealed, but um, it is open a bit on that side, to be fair. And you could probably reseal something, and like you wouldn't necessarily, you know, I'm no expert, I wouldn't necessarily know it was resealed. It's just interesting. And I thought a spy game, like even though it's blatantly sort of like, <laughs> well, all the spot, all the um, eye toy stuff is probably aimed at kids, really. I mean, gaming in general really is aimed at kids, really. Even though, obviously, there is games that are for adults and stuff. So, um, I'm tempted to open it now, but I, I don't know, maybe I'll leave it. I don't think it's going to be worth a lot. I mean, I've bought it this late on, in time, sort of thing, and still got it really cheap. They must have such a stock of this game, I, I guess. Who knows? I'll leave it... Um, I'll leave it still wrapped, apart from obviously it's kind of open at the side anyway. Um, right, the next one's quite interesting actually. I've never played this, I've never heard of it. And uh, yeah, this could be an interesting game. Cold Winter. And uh, it might be fairly violent, it being blurred. Um, 18. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know what it's about or anything. Although I say that, I did read the back uh, briefly. But yeah, it made me think of Bond instantly, and I think that is where it's going with it. No tux, no license, no mercy. You are Andrew Sterling, MI6 agent. Dis disavowed? Disavowed. I don't know what that means. But, um, yeah. thought that would probably be interesting. I mean, the fact that it says... It looks like, you know, you basically like Bond, aren't you? Let go by the MI6, so you're going rogue, that kind of thing. Sounds quite good. So that'd be interesting. Play that sometime. Right. Okay. We're going to bring this down because I can see it's not quite in frame. I know it's weird, all this stuff, but uh, then again, I am making a thumbnail for it. I don't know. And it's not that I don't not like editing, by the way. I'm totally happy to edit stuff together, but sometimes I just try and do stuff in uh, sort of one video. Or that it doesn't matter too much that it's still in the video, if that makes sense. As long as I'm not doing it for too long, which I know I'm probably by this point I am. So, what's next? Red Dead Revolver, which 
is technically the first Red Dead Redemption, isn't it? Um, I believe. Well, it came before Red Dead Redemption, and it is part of it all. It's Rockstar. Yeah, it's, it looks very similar. It's obviously a cowboy game and all that. Played this very briefly, and I can't remember what it was like, to be honest. Um, much different to how you would play Medal of Honor these days. Not Medal of Honor. Um, Red Dead Redemption these days, I think. Not a world apart. It's still third person, and I think it's... Uh, I think it's less free roaming, I think is the thing, I would say. Okay, still on, oh, I was going to say still on our kind of spy and combat kind of um, run. Uh, that's not necessarily true because I've just done Red Dead Revolver, but um, yeah. Uh, SWAT. I thought it was vaguely like um, the fact that we've done spies and that MI6, which again is spies, uh, Cold Winter. Uh, yeah, SWAT. Never heard of this before. Or well, I may have heard of it back in the day, but um, never played it. Um, doesn't give you much on the back, to be fair. Um, and if there's anything in the booklet. Ooh. Is there much going on in the booklet? That's what you got. Guns, gadgets, uh, a team, or people to choose from, maybe. I think you maybe guide a team a little bit. I'm not sure. I thought maybe this might be a light gun game as well, but I don't think it is. I'm sure there was a game like this I bought recently that I thought um, was probably third person or first person, and it turned out it was a light gun game. And it wasn't Time Crisis. Um, right, this next one I think should be good for a police chase, I believe. True crime. I did buy this back in the day. And I remember being undecided on it. I thought, I don't know if I was just being biased because it was so easy to compare it to GTA. And there were definitely elements in this that I thought, oh, it'd be so good to see that in GTA. I think a lot of what this game seemed a little bit like that to me. I thought, oh, like... There was a lot that you thought, oh, it's better in GTA, really. And then there were some things that you were like, oh, if only this was in GTA, this would be great. Well, there seems to be a lot in it. Um, what we got? Tony Hawk's Underground. Nice. Um, so, yeah, like I remember sometimes you get that with uh, games where you feel a bit sort of like, I do enjoy it, but, but there's also things that I know could be better or... That you're not liking as much or find it hard to get adjusted to that kind of thing but i think for a police chase it'd be brilliant you can shoot out your car i think which i know now seems like you know you can do that in gta and you've been able to for ages but back then that seemed like quite a thing oh yeah remember playing that briefly very simplified kind of tony hawks game in a sense he plays disney characters yeah, I don't have a huge love for Disney, like necessarily. I do love Disney films; they're great. But um, I'm not like a Disney fanatic. But yet, um, I do love Kingdom Hearts, and I'm also not um, massively or pretty much at all into uh, Final Fantasy, particularly. I've never really given them a go. I absolutely like uh, love Kingdom Hearts. I even thought I might, if I ever started a podcast, I might start that. Like as a first episode, maybe talk about Kingdom Hearts for a bit. Maybe that was an idea. So, right. Ah, where we go next? Smugglers Run Two. Um, and I, I can't remember if I've ever played this or not. I, I couldn't tell you. I think I probably have. I think I owned. Um. Smugglers Run 1, maybe, myself. This seems very sealed. Doesn't seem to be anywhere where you unseal it from. Oh, it's on the front, I think. Looks like it's been melted together, the glue. I was going to wrap it. It's not actually wrapped, like, properly sealed. It's been sort of sealed, but 
it's not like from the factory although it does kind of feel like it although it's clearly not with all these stickers and stuff smugglers run too i wasn't expecting those i wasn't expecting it i was expecting that to be the thing and yeah that was weird i wasn't expecting that um i think maybe i owned the first no i'm not even sure i owned the first i think basically i might have played these games that both of them briefly or maybe I've only played one. Or maybe I've only played two. So yeah. That was nice. I got to unwrap something at least. <laughs> it did feel like it was actually wrapped. Like, like actually sealed. Oh yeah, this one. I did give this one a go briefly. <laughs> I can't remember actually. Oh, did I show this in my uh, 50 pound box? I can't remember. And uh, it, yeah, it looks like somehow it looks in between sort of PS1 Medal of Honor and PS2 Medal of Honor, maybe. I played the very first mission of this and yeah, it was clunky, well, a little bit clunky and empty and not much going on. And it was weird, you were in this like woods and it was snowing and all that. And it was like you had to be stealthy, but um, there didn't seem to be much going on in the way of stealth. Um, like if you went up to someone, they would just, it would trigger if they saw you or not, like it was in those days, like sometimes. It wouldn't have an indicator of how much they could see you and that kind of thing. It would just, if you got too close, they would see you. And you wouldn't know how to properly sneak around. So it was a bit of a weird one. But I may do a video on it. Fahrenheit, which I bought recently, I think, um, purely because I seem to vaguely remember just seeing it. I don't know if I remember seeing it advertised maybe I'm pretty sure I never remember it seeing seeing it be played so it looks like a slightly more horror driven game although it's only a 15 so it's not terribly bad so that'd be interesting I actually don't know what that's about I think I got this confused with the game that's coming up is it coming up I'm not sure yeah it is from the cover I thought this was the same game as Second Sight which is coming up almost next. Actually, let's just do it next. Second sight, yeah. But now I remember, oh yeah, this was the uh, the cover. But, um, but this cover for me makes me, makes for some reason that makes me think of Death, Dam Death Jam Vendetta. I have no idea why. Um, how much was this? One pound. I think that's what I paid. That looks very faded. Maybe I didn't pay that. Um, so yeah, Second Sight. This was from the same person or from someone who worked on GoldenEye. I can't remember if it was like the team that worked on GoldenEye or if it was just this one person um, who worked on GoldenEye that did this game as well. But um, I was just, I remember listening to a podcast of him talking about doing this game um, and how when you when you die in the game you learn certain things and if you were to play the game all the way through and not die it wouldn't make sense or you wouldn't actually be able to make it to the end of the game perhaps maybe so yeah that'd be an interesting one and i think i did want that back in the day i think i saw it enough to think oh i'd like to give that a go and just never never got it for whatever reason so what's next oh yeah this game headhunter i think i had this years ago briefly or i borrowed it i think maybe this might be one again one of those games where you kind of think you're not sure like it's not that it's a bad game or you just don't like it you just there's elements of it that you don't like and can get on with that stops you from enjoying the game further maybe but, um i think it was all right maybe i was a bit impatient with playing this game maybe I think it was semi-open world. Between missions you could kind of drive around on your bike and stuff, I think. I'm not sure. Okay. The Suffering. <laughs> um, never played this before. I have seen a bit of footage online now on YouTube and it looks pretty good. Seems pretty... Uh, kind of scary. Like, what is this class does? But yeah, it seems pretty extreme 
I don't know if it's a horror as such, it's more just violent, yeah. And you're fighting demons and stuff. Things from hell. Something like that. But I'll play that again. Play that for one video. So we got next. Splashdown. I remember playing this. Uh I think yeah, my brother owned this, I think. I remember playing this. Is it two player? One or two player. So yeah, I remember playing this with him. And back and back then on PS2 games, like there wasn't a huge amount of games that would have like soundtracks as such. There's Gran Turismo, Tony Hawk's games, this to some extent I think, where you'd actually have like maybe twenty songs from actual bands and things or actual artists. I don't know if that's actually the sense on this game. I think this has <laughs> busted year three thousand. I know, I think on this game. I'm not saying I'm a huge fan, but like back then, like I'm not saying I was a huge fan back then either. But um, it would be on the game, and you know, give you something to listen to. It would just be really nice. Whereas these days, you kind of would take something like that for granted, really. So that was fun. That's like Wave Race, I believe, on the N64. I kind of think you're racing around on jet skis. So I remember that being quite fun. Give that a go. Okay, I've done this recently. Vampire Night. Which, uh, trying to let it focus. There we go. Why am I using my hand? I can just use it. Uh, yeah, I played this recently. It's a light gun game, which I thought was quite cool. Um, it's even quite fun playing like without a light gun. I mean, to play PS2 games with a light gun, I think you need a CRT TV. You can't even play on a... I mean, I definitely can't play on a projector because there's no way it would sense where it was on the screen. But I think you can't even use a HD or plasma TV. Maybe a plasma TV, which means it's not HD. Um, or a CRT, but I think it only works with a CRT TV. Like the old ones. But I do have one. But, but then, but getting the light gun, I think they're about... Well, I briefly looked and there was ones for like £100 online. Yeah. One roughly like that. But to be honest, it's probably even third party ones now, maybe, that are expensive. Not like talking official PlayStation ones and they're still in their, um, uh, their box and stuff. I don't know. Because that makes me think if if it's really hard to find light guns, maybe they just... People threw them out or they broke easily or something. That's quite nice. Um, that why they would be hard to find because you also need a CRT TV to use them anyway. Or maybe plenty of people have bought them and tried to use them on on your 4K TVs and they're not worked. Or I could be totally wrong and maybe they work perfectly on a 4K TV. I'm not sure. I toy play and this has uh, just a collection of it's, it's basically a collection of mini games um, and using the eye toy yeah everything on screen some are quite fun some are quite repetitive and all that kind of thing but uh, yeah it's not bad <laughs> I think it stands out it still stands up okay the eye toy can just considering what you can get now you know, you could get this probably much better on your phone, for example. Or something like that. Um, or maybe not, I don't know how it would sense it and all that, but... Maybe you can, couldn't get it on your phone. But, um... Yeah. But it was alright. I mean, it's still okay. I'm going to play it briefly. Well, I can move the camera a bit now, I think. I'm just reframing there. There we go. We'll maybe a bit more. Something like that. Something like that. Simpson skateboarding. I can't. Uh, don't think I did this, did I? Have you seen this before? Did I do this in my last video? PlayStation video? I don't think I did. I mentioned it though. I think. I played it briefly and it seemed a bit. Yeah, sort of really clunky. Compared to Tony Hawk, it was in, near impossible to actually almost do anything or control. Or for, you know, to do any combos or that sort of thing. It just seemed really hard. It's funny because I thought it was really simplified. Which is fair enough because I thought, like, you know, it's it's more made for kids. It's not going to be like Tony Hawk's. Even though Tony Hawk's isn't exactly trying to be 
realistic. But I thought, yeah, with it being basic, it's still really hard. Okay, we're down to our last two now. Last two. It's... I remember seeing this. I had a feeling this was on N64. I seem to remember that guy. Were you on N64? No, I don't know. I seem to remember, yeah, some part of me remember seeing this on N64. Or just seeing that image on an N64 case. Could be wrong. Probably I'm wrong. Um, yeah, what is this? Bought this recently, kind of, yeah. Because some of these games I've literally looked at for like a couple of minutes, or not even that, a couple of seconds before I've then just add to cart, done. It looks like a sort of fort player there. That's cool. Um, so I think it's third person. I'm trying to zoom it in enough for you, but I don't think it will focus a huge amount. It's third person. It just looks like a lot of third person going on. Um, and you, yeah, just your typical kind of. You're a sort of swapped. I don't think you're. You're special forces or something like that. I don't think you're a spy. Did I already go through that? Uh, yeah, looks uh, or maybe sort of Metal Gear Solid esque a little bit. But yeah, I'll probably do a video on that. What colour is the disc? Oh, it's purple. So yeah, I'll do a video on that. Because like I say, I'll do a video on pretty much all these games. At least once. Okay, we're on a final game now. I I think. Let's just reframe a little bit. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, so for the final game, um well, apart from I would like to do Kingdom Hearts 2, but hey, maybe there'll be a part three or a, a third video of this. All this doing the PS2 games. I don't know how many more I'm going to get, to be honest. But we'll have to see. Um, right. It is... Can I do this? Where is it? Can you guess what it is yet? Went a bit Bob Ross there. Um, yeah, Italian job. So I also, at the same time, bought an Italian job game on PS1. So, yeah. I don't think this isn't the same game or anything. This is a totally different game, I believe. Um, or it might be its own thing, I think. I'm not sure that's a film that came out, is it? I, no, I don't think that's the film that came out. That was just a remake, I believe. I played this briefly recently and it seems alright. Seems very arcadey, but that's fine. Like, yeah, controlled fine, I would say. Quite nicely, actually. Graphics, actually... Uh, although you might look at it and think there is definitely, like... It's it's kind of basic, but it actually looks quite polished. And look, like for a PS2 and a PS2 that's not upscaled or anything, I thought, wow. And it's being projected on a hundred-inch screen. I thought, really not too bad. Like it was maybe on par with kind of a well, maybe not quite, but like yeah, maybe I don't know with the Gran Turismo three graphics. Like yeah, it was just decent so i'll do a video on that eventually and i'll do a video on all of these eventually i'm sure so that's it guys that's uh another video on some ps2 games so i'm just doing all this again yeah another video on uh, some more ps2 games for you and yeah that's it that's all i can think of there's no more ps2 games uh I don't know the next time if I'll do a, another collection video because, uh, well, I'll have to, I'll have to get more games for other consoles basically, and I'm not going to do it uh, for the sake of it. I don't want to go buying loads of games just to be able to do a video for you. I'm afraid as much as I'd like to, um, and maybe some of my other collections will build up enough that I can do a bit of a video for that. Uh, it's probably not as an in, as interesting for things like Xbox. X series, series X games, sorry, because they're very recent and it's not as interesting to show off, perhaps, maybe, um, so, but yeah, anyway, I'll leave it there, cheers guys, I'll see you in the next video, and I don't know what that's going to be yet, 
Um, can I give you a hint? Not a hint, because I don't even know myself, do I? Um, what would it be? I don't know. Might do another police chase video. Or, I don't know. Might come up with some kind of system that can just choose for me. And, yeah, maybe I'll put it up at the start of the video. Or, uh, I mean, yeah, put down comments below. Like, I haven't had that many comments in uh, on my channel so far. I'm really not that worried. I'm just putting these videos out. As many people as subscribe do kind of thing. Like, as many people... <laughs> what am I trying to say? Uh, just whoever subscribes, that's really nice of you. Like, that's good. And thank you very much for subscribing. Um, but it just is what it is, really. Um, I don't think I've got enough people to really tell you... To ask you, sorry, uh, to put things in the comments... Uh, you know, as in I'm talking, I won't get like maybe 10, 20 people tell me like, oh, play this game in particular that I saw, etc. But if you'd like to comment, please do. And, you know, maybe I'll give one of these games a go if there's any in particular you might want to see. Um, or just suggest some more PS2 games that are worth getting, which would be good. And yeah, I'll, I think I'll leave it there. Otherwise I'll babble on for another, who, uh, who knows how long sort of thing. So yeah, cheers guys, see you in the next video.